Abnormality and disease. These are some terms that have been thrown at the homosexual community, even though it's been around as long as heterosexuality has been around. On agenda this evening, as the country is shocked by the words of the Goa Minister of Sports when he suggested that he's going to have treatment centers for the community, we come to you live from the NAS Center. It's one of the key groups that have worked to decriminalize uh, Section 377. They are the ones who've been fighting it out in Supreme Court and High Court. I have some of the main members of NAS here with me. I'll also be joined by NDTV's Tejas Mehta from Goa. That's where those shocking comments came from. But first, let's just take a look at how BJP in the state has been trying to cover up, make amends for what Tawre said. Unko, are you going to, going to yeah. make them normal? Unka, unka normal center is an alternate animal center. Uh, this is a center for uh, gays and lesbians. Yeah, yeah. He, he might have uh, thought of some other question. So, what is the government other. stand? This is not a policy. No, how, not a policy. How, what would be the government stand? It is a natural okay. thing. This is to clarify his stand and his party stand. Otherwise, his mentality still remains the same that he feels that the LGBT you know, community is sick or they need medication or they need center. The basic thing is that all these politicians, they should be educated what is actually the issue of these LGBT. And today he has come out with such an outrageous statement. And this has also been spoken by many other members of the BJP. And therefore it's too little too late. And let them take strong action. Please focus your attention towards of repeating section 377. Talk about there are so many acts which are violating sexual minorities. We are born in the same country and you cannot see in, you know, in the way we are completely treated as untouchables. LGBT people are completely normal people. They are not diseased. They don't need any rehabilitation. They don't need any medicine to correct themselves. They are as normal as anybody else as heterosexuals. So it's not the first time that a minister, somebody in power, has referred to the gay community as if they were ill, as if they were abnormal. Ramesh Savarkar was preceded by even uh, another minister, UPM minister, Gulam Nabi Azad. Uh, he also made such comments, really. So it's interesting. I just wanted to get a mix from the community over here at NAS about how they look at, and the talking point really is homosexuality as illness. How does one respond to that? It's interesting. NAS's doctor, Dr. Sanjay, is also here with us. You know, you, you look after the people over here. When you hear uh, educated people, ministers saying things like that, as a doctor, uh, and, and of course as a proud member of the community, how do you respond to that? Uh, I would certainly say they know nothing about the issue. Neither they are medically knowledgeable nor socially, culturally, they know what, how, how the society evolved, how civilizations evolved. So I think this is a, some a statement which the community, community and uh, even the medical community. Psychiatric Association has long back uh, put it out of the rules uh, 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 that it is, a, it is a disease. And now somebody comes out of the blue and says, oh, uh, there has to be a treatment for them. I mean, it's ridiculous, I would say that. So does everyone laugh at it or do you actually despair, uh, Ram, as someone, as one of the prime movers behind MSM, men who have sex with men? Um, I would, first of all, uh, feel that the the minister is actually very ignorant. He needs to be educated more about MSM issues rather than having some accusation like this. I also urge the members of the public do not actually uh, listen to this minister's uh, statement because whatever he is saying is absolutely wrong. And we got our doctor, we got other psychiatrists, we got every we got the science behind what the truth is homosexuality is about. So we urge the public, do not react to this statement. I actually say that, don't, this is actually false. So please do not actually listen what this person is saying to us. Okay, Aditya Bhattabhadhyay, uh, activist, lawyer, you're joining us. You know, you've all, the community has been, you know, fighting a legal battle. So you have that fight on one end, and then you have these obviously ignorant comments on the other end. Do you? I, that's what I would do. Respond to it with despair and ridicule, which some people have very wittily done. Or do you actually take it on? How do you do? No, I think um, despair and ridicule is a risk 
but uh, there is a risk in everything when i look at the larger picture i think something good has come out of it really ultimately oh, yeah. because uh, there are two things first and foremost it is now quite well established that lgbt issues and lgbt youth issues are very much part of the youth policy so essentially you mean with the sports minister and the youth minister yeah right? the sports okay. minister may have been misinformed yeah and he may have been talking through his hat he may have been coming from the coming with the baggage of his ideological and uh, cultural understanding of things because of his party affiliations or whatever those are issues that we have to deal with the, the sports minister needs better education and maybe the uh, chief minister or the party or whosoever is forming the government they have a responsibility to do that educating process but look at the outcome of this whole thing the media is solidly behind the lgbt community today the media has highlighted it to an extent where like you know like your show so many other channels have covered it and at the end of it the goa chief minister has said that lgbt That's is a true. natural thing That's i mean true. that is something which i look at uh, look at it as a positive thing okay so tejas mehta you've heard all the responses over here in goa everybody goes to goa you know looking at it as a progressive state have they are the people of goa are they horrified by what their minister is saying uh, are they or how are they responding tejas Well, certainly after Manohar Parikhar has gone, they were expecting the new Chief Minister, uh, Mr. Lakshmi Kant Parsekar, to you know ho have a better hold on the, his ministers. But the first response he gave today was that it is his baby. Let him answer uh, about this entire entire issue. Well, joining us here, right uh, op opposite the Mandovi River, it's a beautiful evening, uh, Sunita. And of course, uh, uh, been a very tense day to here in goa given the controversy we have seen and joining us we have dr oscar rubello who is an activist and also a member of the aam aadmi party oscar how do you see this do you see this as a cultural problem do you see this as a political one religious one or a mixture of all of them together no i think uh, tejas you know just as it's the world over i think this is a a kind of a little conflict between a conservative position and between the liberal position Now I'm not sure whether the sports minister, the youth affairs minister, Mr. Tawadka, really meant to hurt the LGBT community, but I, I, I think he genuinely believes that this is a disease that requires to be cured. So of course he's retracted back on his statement, which is a good thing. But uh, it, it is, it is a conservative position that happens the world over. People are not comfort, comfortable with uh, homosexuality or alternative sexuality or transgenders. This has happened all the time. So uh, it obviously repels. the liberal in us the moment we hear a statement like that where homosexuality is a disease that's supposed to be cured is like flies in the face of anything medicine has has ever taught us and um Well, but we you've got to engage with the conservative society. Yeah, you've I just got to, to uh, talk on that point. So, Nitra, also an important point which uh, Oscar raised in the morning was that you have got to engage with the conservative lot, try and explain to them because. this may not really be bigotry as you were pointing out oscar absolutely i do not think so i think we liberals have that you know we sit on our moral perch and we've got this level of intellectual arrogance about us and then we think that everybody who disagrees with us are a bunch of bigots that's not necessarily true it's just a conservative position that happens across all communities all religions really go into a shell as far as confronting homosexuality is concerned so these barriers have to be broken very slowly they have to be broken very patiently and they have to be broken down with arguments with reason with facts and figures you've really got to be able to explain to the vast majority of conservative people who i'm sure are, are very much like us but you know they have to really break their taboos as well and come out of the shell and that will happen only with an engagement not by badgering them or by calling them names or calling them bigots etc i i really think in india we have this wonderful culture for centuries of live and let live I'm sure that people would just live with homosexuals just as with any you know, other. A lot of people over here want to respond. A lot of people I'm over sure here want to respond expecting to Michael. what. Uh, yeah, a lot of people would want to respond to what he's saying. I can That's see Aditya Bandhubade, you know, dying to come in over here. But I just want to also go in and bring in over here, uh, you know, Bobby Darling, who joins us from Mumbai. You know, I I wanted to ask you. You've heard a lot of uh, f f varied opinions over here. And I think we're just going to go to one a bit. Aditya, I just wanted to ask you. Up coming in and commenting. Do you think is this what you were referring to? That political parties have now gotten involved, and it's become part of the kind of dialogue. Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, you know, when we talk of the political, di like you know, the dialogue process or the political po policy making process, one of the slogans that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been talking about is "Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas." Like now, who is this Sabka? Does Sabka includes us, 
और डस सबका ओनली मीन लाइक यू नो बनिया बनिया ब्राह्मण कैपिटलिस्ट सबका एंड एवरीबडी टू द एक्सक्लूजन ऑफ एवरीबडी एल्स डज अ मुस्लिम बिलोंग टू सबका डज अ एल जी बी टी पर्सन बिलोंग टू सबका दिस इज समथिंग नरेंद्र मोदी नीड्स टू कम आउट एंड टॉक अबाउट वेरी ओपन लेट मी जस्ट फिनिश वन मोर थिंग आई थिंक आई थिंक दीज काइंड ऑफ Of, like you know, completely uh, uh, pointless, clueless, uh, awful statements are going to keep coming from the side of BJP party unless the leadership actually makes their point and they stand clear on the issue.